It is my pleasure to introduce Reverend Selena Fox of Circle Sanctuary. There just aren't enough hours in the day to talk about the accomplishments of Selena. Selena is not only a gift to our Circle community, but she is loved by so many worldwide for her work and efforts supporting religious freedoms. Following Selena's workshop today, there will be a short video of Maypole dancing at a Beltane festival held on Circle land. So without further ado, Reverend Selena Fox and her workshop, Beltane Flower Magic. Happy Beltane! Some flower magic ways for bringing in the May. Some flower magic ways for bringing in the May. Some flower magic ways for bringing in the May. This is Selena Fox and today I share with you some old and new ways of working with flower magic at Beltane time. Since ancient times, as people marked the turning of the seasons, this time of year in many parts of the temperate zone has been known as the flowering time. The ancient Celts called it Beltane. It also has the name May Day, May Eve. Some celebrate on April 30th or May 1st in the Northern Hemisphere, but many, including myself, celebrate Beltane over the course of multiple days and nights. I'd like to share with you one way of creating a sacred circle with the elements of nature by doing flowering invocations for each. I invite you as I chant for each, for you in your own way to connect with the earth, the air, the fire, the water, the spirit and bring them into the circle at your watching place to bless and renew you at this Beltane time. Flowering of the ground Sacred earth, we call to you. Bless and renew our bodies. Flowering of the vines. Sacred air, we call to you. Bless and renew our minds. Flowering of the trees, sacred fire, we call to you. Bless and renew our vitality. Flowering of the marsh, sacred water, we call to you. Bless and renew our feelings. Flowering of all life, Sacred Spirit, we call to you, bless and renew our souls. So mote it be. In doing flower magic for Beltane, 
You can work with one or more flowers. Living flowers are an option. You might get a set of flowers and a basket. And as part of your Beltane celebration, you've got an instant May basket. And after Beltane is done and you've done your flower magic, you can then plant the flowers in your garden or if you are in a place with some good light indoors to have them be a plant in your home. You might get some freshly cut flowers. Many grocery places have fresh flowers. It's another way of getting some flowers. I got some flowers today that are boxwood. And if you're at a place where you have a garden, you might bring some flowers in from your garden. Flowers can take a lot of different ways. As you can tell, this is primarily an evergreen plant, but around Beltane time, it starts flowering. This is a way to bring in the green and bring in the May with flowers. Some actually prefer to have flowers that are artistic renderings of actual flowers. These are perpetual flowers. Uh, many of them are made out of silk. It's a lot of different ways. Some actually come in a bouquet like this. And if you don't have access to these kinds of flowers, well, you can make your own. out of tissue and a twist tie. So get a bit of tissue, pull it apart, cut it into a small piece like this, and then just gently gather it up. And with a twist tie, all you need to do is connect it around its base and voila, you have a flower that you can do some flower magic with. And then there are flowers that are virtual flowers. Flowers in the form of photographs that you've taken in the past or photographs that you might encounter online somewhere. And there is the flower that's within our imagination. So whether you are calling up an imagined flower, a cyber flower, a tissue flower that you make yourself, a artistic flower, a cut flower, or a living flowers that you will later plant, all can aid you in celebrating Beltane and making flower magic. A flower magic way for bringing in the May. An ancient as well as contemporary way of Beltane flower magic is using flowers to decorate sacred space. If you work with a personal altar, Decorate your altar with one or more flowers. If you are aligned with a form of the divine, 
and have a shrine to that divine form in your home. You can decorate the shrine as you pay tribute and honor to that form of the divine. One of the goddesses that I'm aligned with and work with year round is the goddess Bridget. Bright Bridget, thou obtain blessings. 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 Blessed be another flower magic way for bringing in the May. Do flower meditations. If you are in a place where you can walk or look out your window and see flowers blooming, Take some time out and experience the flowers that you see as a whole, and then focus on the individual types of flowers. Something that you can do indoors or outside with a freshly cut flower or a flower that you're going to plant is the following flower meditation. If you have a living flower with you right now, I invite you to bring it forth. And if you don't, call to mind a particular type of flower that you would like to meditate with. I have a hyacinth. So take some deep breaths and center yourself. Close your eyes for a few moments. Connect with the sacred each in your own way. And then with eyes open, look at the flower before you or if it is a flower that you're imagining, continue to envision to connect with that. Notice the color. Resonate with that color. Observe the shape and pattern of the flower and its leaves. Touch the flower gently. Smell the flower. Experience that flower as the focus of your awareness. Honor the spirit of the flower. Become one with the flower. Imagine you are that flower that you are blooming, feeling the creative, joyful, 
exuberant flower magic life force pulsating through you. Celebrate yourself and your ability to bloom, to be beautiful. to grow and prosper, to be well. Take a few moments now. Give thanks to the flower that you've communed with, that you have merged with. And let a word or a phrase rise up in your mind that is part of your flower communion experience. Focus on that for a few moments. And as you reorient, if it feels right to do so, I invite you to share the type of flower that you communed with, and if you wish, the message that has come forth, that word or phrase, as you have culminated your flower communion meditation. Share it in the comments if you wish. Make a note of it for your own reflection at this Beltane time. Another flower magic way for bringing in the May. Flower magic ways for bringing in the May. Some old traditions connected with bringing in the May and Beltane time is that of the flower wreath, the flower crown, the flower garland. Many maypoles have a flower crown at the top representing the great goddess of all life. Some will have that flower circle in the form of a wreath that's placed on an altar or on the front door. A variation is the flower garland that can be wrapped around railings, pillars, thresholds. In fact, you can create your own flower crown or wreath using one of these garlands and a bit of wire or tape. I like wearing a flower crown headpiece to connect me with the tradition of wearing flowers, being with flowers at this time of year, connecting with the flowering of all life. A flower magic way for bringing in the May. A flower magic way for bringing in the May. I invite you to join me in a flower goddess meditation. Find a comfortable place to be 
Take some deep, slow breaths. Close your eyes. Center yourself. It is springtime. The sounds of nature are around you. The land is in bloom. You imagine yourself moving through the springtime beauty of the place you have called to mind. You are journeying into the green, into the flowering realm. And as you do, creatures call to you to journey down a particular path that goes into a hidden glade. As you journey into the hidden glade. You see beautiful flowers around you. And in the distance, as you draw closer, you see a shimmering light. Going even closer, you see a beautiful goddess. She has a crown of flowers on her head. She is seated in a flowery throne. You are encountering the goddess is Queen of the May. She bids you to come closer. And beautiful wild birds all around you. Watch. and sing as she presents to you a basket of many types of flowers, different colors, different shapes. You accept the basket of flowers, this May basket. And as you hold this in your hands, she invites you to look at each flower and then to select one that calls to you the most. Spend a few moments in this place of natural beauty. Contemplating the flowers. And then select the one that you feel most drawn to. you take it out of the basket, you feel a strong connection with that particular flower. You 
connect with the color. To experience yourself resonating with that color. And you draw into yourself the healing power of that color. And you connect with the type of flower now. You feel that strong connection, an alignment with that type of flower. Focus on the name of that flower. And as you do, pay attention to what you experience. queen invites you to carry that flower with you now as a reminder of this meditation. Return the May basket to her. You give thanks. And as you carry that flower with you, You know that the magic of flowers and the magic of Beltane is within you and around you. Not only at this Beltane time, but throughout the year. As you give thanks to the flower and the May Queen you feel joy flowing in you and around you. Indeed, you are blooming with happiness, with pleasure, with well-being, with creative delight. Carrying with you the memory of the flower, the May Queen, the glade. You journey back through time and space to the here and now. As you take some deep, slow breaths and return to a more waking state of consciousness, you give thanks for the Beltane that is eternal, the Beltane that is flower magic. A flower magic way for bringing in the May. A flower magic way for bringing in the May. Since ancient times, people have exchanged flowers as tokens of friendship, of love, of appreciation. And Beltane is a wonderful time for exchanging flowers.
depending on your circumstances, you may have opportunities to do this creatively. An old way was to create a May basket. Go to a neighbor's home that you wish to express appreciation and friendship to, set it on the door, hang it on the doorknob, knock on the door or press the doorbell and then run away and hide. And this Beltane May Basket surprise would be there. Well, in an age of many choices now and a time where it's not always possible to physically go to a neighbor's place, we have some different ways of doing May baskets. You can create a May basket. I did one last Beltane. My friend Heather taught us how to make these kinds of May baskets. And in here I have some little silk flowers and some tissue flowers. And make a May basket, photograph it, put it on your website if you have one, put it on social media, send it in an email, text it. There's a lot of different ways that you can share flower magic of friendship and connection at this Beltane time. If you are able to physically give a May basket to someone, you may want to have one that actually has plants in it, such as this one. And then those plants can not only be house plants, or can be planted to bring delight throughout the season. And another way to do an exchange is to actually craft a flower poem, story, song, illustration, or photograph, and to share that with a loved one. Now, a typical time to do the May baskets was on May 1st, but being one of those that celebrate Beltane for multiple days and nights, you may choose to do it any time during this Beltane time. In fact, at the full moon or new moon is a really great time. So these have been some ways for bringing in the May, sacred flower ways to bring in the May. Have a wonderful Beltane and may you continue to bloom wherever you may be. So Modesty, happy Beltane.
Thank you, Selena Fox, for a wonderful workshop. You are a gift to us all. Next up, you will have the opportunity to chant with the folks of Buttercup Manor, Reverend Messina, Reverend Minerva, Aviel, and Raven. Join us.
I'd like to introduce you to the great folks at the Buttercup Manor in Evansville, Wisconsin. Reverend Messina, Reverend Minerva, Aviel, and Raven. The four of these fine folks are wonderful volunteers at Circle Sanctuary and we couldn't do it without them. Today, since they all live together and are practicing social distancing, they are going to be bringing us a chant workshop, a time for all of us to join our voices and raise some energy to rejuvenate our souls to chant in the May. I will be gentle with myself. I will love myself. I am a child of the universe, being born each moment. I will be gentle with myself. I will love myself. I am a child of the universe, being born each moment. I will be gentle with myself. I will, gentle with myself. I will love myself. I, myself. I am a child of the universe, being born. gentle with myself I will love myself I am a child of the universe being born each moment I will be gentle with myself I will love myself I am a child of the universe being born Welcome. You've entered the noon workshop for Circle Sanctuary's virtual Beltane celebration. We'll be doing some Beltane chants today. We are I'm Raven, Aviel, I'm Reverend Messina, and I'm Reverend Minerva. And just so you don't worry about us, we are still social distancing, but here at Buttercup Manor we all live together, so we can be this close and you don't need to be worried. <laughs> We started with the chant, I Will Be Gentle With Myself by Labanya. We chose that chant to start our Beltane chanting as a reminder to take care of yourself and ourselves and all of us in these really difficult times. So welcome and enjoy the chants. Hi, welcome to our second chant. We've chosen the chant, Oh Mother, or the healing chant by Alyssa Starkweather. We chose this chant because of the difficult times that we're in and we all need healing, each and every one of us. Also, planet Earth desperately needs healing. So here we have, O oh Mother. O oh Mother, we are calling your children. We need healing. Oh, Mother, 
your children. We need healing power, power. Awaken Me by Abby Spinner McBride. Reverend Moonfeather asked us to do this chant because she'll be using it in this afternoon's Beltane ritual. This will give us the time to learn the chant and be ready for the ritual later today. One, two, three, four. Open my eyes to the miracles around me. Wake me up, wake me up. Open my eyes to the miracles around me. Wake me up, wake me up. Awaken me. Awaken me. Awaken me. Awaken me. Open my ears to your whispered words of guidance. Wake me up, wake me up. Open my ears to your whispered words of guidance. Wake me up, wake me up. Awaken me. Awaken me. Awaken me. Awaken me. sleep and stir me from my dreaming. Wake me up, wake me up. Shake me from my sleep and stir me from my dreaming. Wake me up, wake me up. Awaken me. Oh. 
Our final chant today is We Are a Circle, written by Rick Hameras. We've chosen this chant as a way of bringing our voices together and joining as one to celebrate Beltane. Thank you for being with us today for this workshop. We love each and every one of you, and happy Beltane. We are a circle within a circle with no beginning and never ending. We are a circle within a circle with no beginning and never ending. We are a circle within a circle with no beginning and never ending. We are a circle within a circle with no beginning and never ending. We are a circle within a circle with no beginning and never ending. We are a circle Stay safe. Bless it be. Indeed. I'd like to say thanks to the fine folks at Buttercup Manor, Reverend Messina, Reverend Minerva, Aviel, and Raven. Thanks for a great chanting workshop. And I'd like to say thanks for all the hard work you all do at Circle Sanctuary. Lots of volunteering and so fantastic at building community. Thank you for that. Up next will be the Beltane ritual with me, Reverend Sharon. It'll be a ritual through the senses. Please join us. <laughs> 